And end of an era today, our friend Paul Majors has announced that he's retiring from CBS 2 News. Well, this afternoon, Paul joined me one last time here in the studio. I spoke to him about his decision to leave CBS 2 News and to end his nearly four-decade journalism career. Paul's decision is very personal, and he also hopes his journey will help others. You have something really important that um, you want to talk about. You're sure. retiring. I am retiring. Yes. Yes. And you've been away for a while. I have been away. And the viewers have been wondering uh, where I've been. That's something that's very important to me. Okay. Um, I've gone through treatment for um, alcoholism. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, thanks to having a great family, not only my immediate family, but my extended family, all my brothers and my sister, mm -hmm. and having great friends, um, I got help. That's wonderful. And I needed help. Um, I just reached that point in life where um, I, I had to reach out and, and get help. And I've got all the support, and uh, that's where I've been. I went through treatment and uh, doing what I can to uh, learn more about myself and, and maintain my sobriety. We talked about a lot of things over the years that we've known each sure. other. 13 years, we've worked together seven years. And that was one of those things, because my family, I shared mm -hmm. a lot with you about, about my family as well. Right. Why do you feel it's important, Paul, to talk about it? Well, I, yeah, I think because I think a lot of people have questions. Where was Paul? You know, does there, I mean, I've heard everything. You know, are oh, you so okay? have I. Yeah, have <laughs> Trust me. <Yeah>. Oh, yes. <laughs> he, you know, did you have surgery? Do you have cancer? Do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have that? No, and in fact, I'm an alcoholic. But you want to share this yeah, with people um, because... I want to share it to get it out there, just to let people know, first of all, where I was. And also, I just want to let people know that if you're, if you're in a similar situation to me, I needed help, and yet I couldn't reach out and ask for help. And I knew I needed help. I mean, I would sit and cry asking God to help me, mm -hmm. and yet I couldn't pick up the phone. And I finally got help from, as I said, from friends and family. And um, if, if you're out there and you're suffering with whatever the addiction is, there is help out there. And all, all you have to do is just speak to someone, speak to one person, and that one person may be able to reach out and, and give you a hand and lift you up and help you. You've reached a decision that um, you want to move on with your life. I have. Okay. Um, and there's not much that you and I haven't shared. Right. For, for those of you at home, uh, we, we shared virtually everything. I mean, you stop and think about it. You and I are together more than you're with your spouse and more than I'm with my spouse. In, you know, yes. pretty close proximity. First of all, in the newsroom, we sit near each other, very right. close to each other. <laughs> and then on that set, we're shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. I've shared everything with you and vice versa. And you of all people know that for a while now, I've, I've been wanting to retire. Yeah, we've talked about mm -hmm. it. And um, prior to even going into treatment, I'd given it very strong consideration. And once I came out of treatment, I, I, obviously I, I had reached the conclusion that not only is it good for me, it's what I want to do. You know, I, I'm still fairly young. Yes, you are. Um, I'm fairly healthy. Because we're the same age. You yeah. are really young, Paul. I'm true. <laughs> so are you. Right again, I keep saying that. And fairly healthy. And there are a lot of things that I want to, that I still want to do. There are a lot of places that I haven't seen. And, and You love traveling, I know that. I love traveling. And thanks to God, I'm in a position where my wife and I will be able to do that. So many people wait for so long to retire. And there are no guarantees. God doesn't tell you that, you know, hey, you've got until the age of 83, 85, 86, 88, for that matter, 70. So you know um, when it's time. Yeah, it's my time. And, okay. and it's my time to go do some different things and enjoy things. And I'm really excited about that. Well, before you... So proud of him. So brave to share his personal journey.